My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today we're doing sheet pan salmon fajitas that are so delicious you will fall in love with them. Easy cleanup, easy preparation, everything done in one sheet pan. And I'm pairing it with this Beaujolais from France. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But we're also, we're reviewing this We How Sweet Digital timer right here but we'll talk about that later too let's dive right into our salmon here we have a scottish salmon what i'd like to do is i have a pound right here but you know all the exact measurements are right down below in the description center i like to get a, a, a large fillet and just fillet it myself the only reason why i like to do that is because of of the thickness will all be the same with all the fillets and it will make it easier that means one fillet isn't going to be thicker than the other and they get done it like you know they cook at separate times then and this way it becomes it's much 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 better for the end product and i am doing just so you see i am doing skinless on um, both sides because of the sheet pan is not going to be able to crisp it up enough but it's going to turn out moist and delicious let's get our spice blend going i have this easy fajita spice blend of chili powder cumin paprika that's a sweet paprika oregano and some brown sugar and we're just going to blend this all together and we're going to save half of this for the actual peppers and onions and the other half is going to go on our salmon after we marinate our salmon. For our peppers, I'm using bell peppers. I'm using, as you can see, yellow, red, green. I'm adding a jalapeno because I like a little bit of heat. Um, but you don't have to add that whatsoever. So you just want to go down and you want some rustic cuts on your bell peppers here. So come on down. Up. Uh, down like so and then take your uh bell peppers and i always a little trick never cut your bell peppers like this on the waxy side up go like this and then go like this your knife slides through them with ease uh it's much much easier to take your bell peppers and cutting them non-waxy side down it's much much easier so rustic cuts let me go through cut these up some onions and peppers, and uh, let's meet back up. Now pull out your favorite sheet pan here. I put all of our vegetables in the sheet pan, and what you wanna do first is you wanna drizzle with some olive oil. So drizzle with about a tablespoon of olive oil, and then you wanna give it a little bit of salt, of course, because we did not add any salt to our mixture whatsoever, and we need some salt on those vegetables. And remember we had half of that mix that we did so you want to take that and sprinkle this all over our veggies right oh yes this is going to be amazing and the oven is set at 425 right now and uh, we're going to put it in for a total of 20 to 25 minutes each oven is different so you have to check do a little toss of everything so the oil gets onto everything here and we have a little toss and oh i can just smell all the spices oh yes this is going to be fabulous and halfway through you want to definitely pull it out do a little turn with everything and stick it right back in so let's get these going first our veggies are going in and why we're not putting in our salmon now is because it would be way overcooked if we added our salmon right now because I have the best tips of 
coming with the most perfect juicy salmon with these salmon fajitas. Now let's start work on that marinade. I have the super simple marinade to give more flavor to the salmon. In the bowl here, I have some soy sauce or tamari, whatever you would like to use. And to that, I'm going to use the, a whole lime. And this is a pretty juicy lime, so I'm going to get at least a good two tablespoons out of this lime. Now, this is important that we're only going to let this marinate in this juices for no more than 15, 20 minutes tops. Because if you do more than that, you know what you're going to end up with? Ceviche. <laughs> the acid from this lime juice is going to cook the salmon, and you do not want that. So uh, some olive oil is going in, and with the olive oil, I am going to add just a touch of some Dijon mustard here. Just a little bit. Well, some on my thumb, I guess. <laughs> just a little bit. And once again, all the exact measurements are right down below in the description center. Let's mix this together and let's get our salmon in because those veggies only have about another 15 minutes and they are dumb. So let's get our salmon in this marinade here and make sure you want to just get it all around. But remember, you're only doing this for no more than 15 minutes because you don't want ceviche. Well, our veggies are cooking in the oven. Perfect time to talk about the wine. It is from Dubu, uh, a Beaujolais. It is, let me take first smell of this. Wow. Right off the bat, it reminds me of drinking, smelling like cherry cola when you pop open the can. Abundance worth of uh, red fruit aromas going through, like raspberry, and cranberry. Let me take a taste. Oh. Just fruit forward right in your mouth. High acidity, low, low alcohol, very smooth, no tannins will just go perfect with the salmon. You are definitely going to fall in love with this one. I just pulled the peppers out of the oven. They are finished. The pan is screaming hot. Let's make some room here for our salmon fillets because everything is going back into the oven. And I removed the marinade from the salmon fillets so they go right onto this hot, hot sheet pan. And now you're going to coat the rest of these with this mixture of the fajita mixture that we did before. So this is going to go right on top, just like so, and onto the sides, wherever you can get this fajita mixture, onto the salmon. And we are putting it right into the oven, back into the oven. The oven is still at 425 degrees. Just wanted to let you know that. And now this is the important tip. Now. It is going back into the oven. So back into the oven. Now what we are going to do, we are going to lower the temperature immediately right now to 275. Okay, we are at 275. Now that is going to go for about 11 minutes until uh, the fish is 125 in the center. It should be moist, delicious, fall apart. Amazing. You will love it. And uh, let's get to that timer. We need to set that timer. We House We sent me this digital timer that I just fell in love with. It's so easy. This is the packaging. So let's remove it from the packaging here. And uh, here uh, it's really simple to use. You just touch it and it comes on. There is no on and off button. So as you can see, all you have to do, you set it by circling back and through like this or um, 
reversing it all the way. So what we can do now, there is a little set button right here, as you can see. If you do that, it does five minute increments. One, two, and we're set automatically for 10. Now let me just do uh, for exactly 11 minutes and it is starting to count down perfectly. Looks like the salmon is done. Let's go check it out. And also, we house we sent me a link down below to give everybody 40% off. And it comes to a mere $7 and some change. Uh, for this and batteries are included. Can you believe that? Once again, I do not get paid for any of this just reviewing this product. It smells so amazing in here. I can't wait to try these. Oh, yes. Take a look at that. Now, is that some delicious sheet pan fajita salmons? So easy, so delicious. I'm going to get some corn tortillas, some avocado, some sour cream. You do whatever you like to pair it with. I'm going to plate up. Before I get to try, I first would like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. And don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because I have a new recipe every Tuesday, guaranteed. And that lets you know that my recipe is up. Let's get started. Like, I have to show you. Look how perfect the salmon came out in the middle. Perfectly moist and delicious. This is finger food. That's okay. I'm touching it. This is mine. <laughs> but that is the way to cook salmon in the oven with these fajitas. Okay. Big old bite. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I am happy. Wow. I'm going to devour the rest of those fajitas. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff. And we'll see you next week.